You know, May is National Beef Month, and no doubt there's going to be lots of grilling uh, coming up on Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people out enjoying hamburgers and steaks. I'm with Allison Smith with the Kentucky Beef Council uh, to take us through a couple of really quick recipes that you are going to love. Also, some great tips on how to grill outside safely and inside. It looks like we're going to have nice weather, but you have some ideas in case we have to pull it inside. Uh, first of all, love the new truck. Yes. The beef bus the is beef here. Bus. That's yeah. right. The beef bus is on tour for May is Beef Month, and <laughs> And, uh, and we just got it in nice. April, so yeah. just in time for Derby and now Beef Month. And so we're going around the state of Kentucky talking about beef. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot to talk about, a lot to brag about. So what did you bring today? Well, um, on behalf of the 32,000 beef farmers, we are excited to share these wonderful recipes. We've got a cowboy marinated steaks. Mm and it's a skirt steak. So okay. um, it's a little different kind of steak that most people uh, might look for during the Memorial Day because skirt steak is one you probably generally see it more of a restaurant style situation. Okay. Um, but it's, it's very lean and it's um, a little less tender. So what you're gonna do is you're right. gonna put some marinade. So we've got some the, marinade in here. We've got the raw steak I'll and I'll hold right that here. open. Okay. And the marinade has got That's a combination of this. This looks yummy. lime juice yeah. and thyme and some paprika. I like the smell of it. Yes. Oh, that's yes. nice, Allison. And some garlic, some really good things that are going to make that taste okay. wonderful. And so we're going to just put this in here and um, zip it up. How long would you uh, put that in yes. the, the fridge for to marinate? So the that? so the um, less tender cuts are going to go for about six hours to twelve hours, okay. which is what this will do. Six hours in the refrigerator will be perfect. Okay. Um, if I always put it in a little container to make sure it doesn't leak all over everything, because that's no fun. Right. So, and, and but then, great to do, I think, before you head into the weekend. You know, if you're going to have like a busy Sunday, or maybe you're doing it on Monday, go ahead and do it the day before. Right. Totally Absolutely. Right. You can do that. Just don't go over 24 hours because it actually makes the beef kind of mushy, and so we don't want to do that. So we're going to take that after it's done, and we're going to throw it on the grill. In this grill, you want it to be about medium high heat. So um, basically, if you want to come over yep, with me. Yep. It's basically where you can put your hand just over about four um, seconds without okay. it burning. It's going to tell you it's about 350 to 400, and I'll just take it out yeah, here. You're gloved up. Yes. Do and you, um, do you need to pour the marinade like out of the bag on top of it, no, or it's like I would soaked not. in yes, enough? Yes, because that is um, something that is uh, it's got a little bit of, of sugar in it, so that's going to burn a little okay. bit. So as you can see there, we've got the grill turned up nice um, and high, but we're going to turn it down. I'm so taking notes on all my grilling fails oh, that I've done, no. right? Like no, all the things no, that you shouldn't do. Right? So you just want to you just turn it down because a lot of times you want to up high to kind of get the grill clean and then turn it down and get that nice sear on it. So we're going to let that go. My goal here with grilling is it, the, the steak will tell you when it's done. So it will what have will some it say? juices oh, that come okay. to the top. And when the juices come to the top, you just flip it over. And you really only have to flip it one to two times, really. So that's kind of the key part on the steak. And then we're looking for about 145 degrees doneness. So that's internal temperature, not your grill. <laughs> um, and uh, you basically are going to go in the thickest part of that steak, and it should read about 145. So okay. I've got a little instant ring thermometer that I would stick right in there. So that's the skirt steak and it's it's sided with a little bit of corn salsa um, that we have there and a, and a wonderful salad, right? I was going to say, even with the skirt steak, I feel like I could throw that right on top of the salad. Salad, so yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Right. But you definitely want to give that a little bit of love with some um, with some marinade. So, okay. so next is the Hawaiian slider. Oh, yeah. we've been hearing about this all morning. I know Sam here has been eyeing those. He said, "Did you see those sliders?" Yes. Oh, well, it's it's a good take on a wonderful regular burger. It's National Beef Burger Day on the 28th of May. You know, so um, we wanted to hit a burger. Good excuse to eat it that day. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And so what we did with the burger is we have a 90-10 ground beef, which means 90% lean, 10%. Uh, um, fat and we're gonna just take a little bit of Worcestershire sauce I love saying that word <laughs> um, but this is actually gonna bring out the umami in beef um, which is the is fifth it? sense on your tongue it makes it all explode in your mouth and so um, it's like when you put chocolate and strawberries together or no. champagne beautiful, you know beautiful. yes yeah. and so we're just gonna mix it up and um, I always say don't play with your patties that's kind of my thing. Um, it's a little odd, but it's it works because um, if you play too much with your patty, then it gets um, compacted and it will not properly cook thoroughly. Okay. So I just grab a ball in my hand that I can fit, and I'm going to grab one of these gloves mm -hmm. here. And because um, you really didn't mix things too long, no, you kind of got that Worcestershire in there. No, so I've got a ball here, and I'm just going to kind of patty it out 
Um, some people are a little a tip, you know, a a type personality and want it perfectly round. If you do that, I use like a a little bit of a bowl, or you can use a, a mason jar lid if you want it perfectly round. And that should be the the right size. Yeah, there too. but yeah. you want it about um, you can see about a half an inch thick, not okay. too thick, and then you're just going to put it on the grill. And you want it to be a really nice because it's gonna it's gonna do a little bit of, of searing up. Mm -hmm. um, and then basically what you're gonna do is, we've got one here, we're gonna pick it up off the grill, Okay. put our thermometer in here, and we're looking for that 160 degrees, which is the internal doneness. And we're almost there, we're getting there? Getting there. Yes, and so then what we're gonna do to make this the pineapple version is we've got some pineapple here on the grill. And we just put a little bit of barbecue and um, preserve. It's a pineapple preserve that we put on that. And um, can we put this on the we can actually or? we can put it on the we okay. can put it on the burger. How about okay. that? Okay. Yes. So yes. we we basically just put that. We put the pineapple on the burger. This preserve looks. This looks great. Yes, right? I love this. And then preserve. so it's a Look barbecue sauce and a barbecue little bit sauce. of pineapple preserves. And basically what you're doing Bad. is just adding a little bit of more flavor to it. Top it with, this is a Hawaiian roll, mm. um, nice and sweet. And then we have some wonderful chips to the side, or you can have a salad. So some great uh, little sliders for your Memorial Day season. All right, so all the, uh, can we get the recipes? Because this is so great. I feel like I need to take notes. This was wonderful. Yes, right? so the kybeef.com is our website, and you can go on there. Or you can follow us on Instagram under kybeef, too. Um, and we have some great recipes and stories there. Meet our beef farmers. As I said, 32,000 of them. We're just blessed to have them in the state of Kentucky. Right, by Kentucky Beef. You're keeping them in business. You're supporting what's happening here in Kentucky. Oh, I do want to mention yeah. that if for any oh, yeah. reason you get rained on uh, this holiday, maybe you cannot take it out. Side. What you can do, though, is bring it inside with a cast iron skillet. Yes, so people always ask, how do you get that steakhouse steak? Yeah. And I say the closest way is a cast iron skillet. And so you want to heat it up so it's really hot. And then you're going to put your steak in there and get that nice sear on there or your burger. Flip it over. And then, actually, I finish it in the oven at 350 mm -hmm. degrees until it gets to the internal temperature so that you start, need. start start top, then yeah. move to the oven. Yes, and so that's going to do that nice caramelization that a steakhouse steak would be like. So. All right. And then, please tell everybody your tips for cleaning because I struggle oh, with yes, like cleaning yeah. a cast iron skillet. Yeah, so what I, I do, um, and there may be other ways to do it, but the best way that's worked for me is I take a kosher salt paste and just kosher with a little bit of water and I put it all in here, let it set in here, really kind of scrub it. I use my hands, mm -hmm. scrub it in there um, and let it sit. And then if it um, is really bad, we might do that a couple times, but we're just rinsing it out with water. Don't put a lot of, um, well, don't put any soap, no mm -hmm. soap, um, not a lot of water. And then once you get that done, kind of let it air dry. And then you want to go back and season it with whether it's uh, bacon grease or a little bit of oil, whatever your preference is for your seasoning. It's the care of the skillet that's so very important, right? You see people that stick it in the sink and let it sit in soap and, oh my gosh. Yeah, right? I, yeah. No, you, you want to cringe, but we know that there's hope. There's hope that they can get it, um, rinsing it out really well and then kind of going back. I've taken ones that are over 50 years old and rusted and we've repaired them with that, that salt. So, so definitely a lot of good cooking tips that you can find yeah. on kybeef.com and, uh, and hope you enjoy your Memorial Day. Oh, love this. Love the recipes. Thank you. And thank you for bringing the bus. Absolutely. Right? Go to kybeef.com for all the recipes and have a safe and wonderful Memorial Day weekend. We're coming right back with more Great Day Live. Stay with us.